Hello, I've just finished two Mimic panels and I'm about to prepare a third one for laser cutting. Uh, the two I've just finished seem to look pretty good. The paint's now dry so these will be going in the post tomorrow. Let's have a look, let's peel it back. See what we <clears throat> There's the first. Looks rather nice. This customer's got a load of holes here for toggle switches as specified by the customer. And the second one is an A3 size panel. There's the backing with all the markings and so on. And here's the fascia. I need to peel that off. I'll replace it so I can just check everything. That looks good. Yes, I think that's quite smart. Here it is. It's an A3 size. And the one I'm working on now is also A3 sized. So this is the artwork as approved by the customer. And I now have to render it so that it's useful to the laser cutter. The first thing I'm going to do is Let's start the screen recorder. There we go, hopefully we're recording. Yes, we're recording. So if I um, take the notes off now, get rid of those, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need the dimensions, don't need that. Um, we can hide this for now, hide object. Get rid of that one. So now we're just on the fascia. So first thing to do is turn all these into um, into vectors. So the macro is running; it's just converting everything. I think what most people don't realise is how much effort goes into converting artwork once it's been approved. So quite a lot of effort involved. There we go. It's got one here. Perfect. Let's lose the background. And now we can just take everything and hopefully turn it all into a black and white vector. There we go, brilliant. Okay, that looks all right. Just better save it with a new name, increment it. Six. So what I'm gonna do now is pick out the buttons and set their color to red, <coughs> which tells the laser to make a hole. Don't need the outer bands on those because they're in the middle of nowhere. So we'll want that one, that one. Sometimes I select lots and it does all the wrong things. That one, that one, that one, that one. Red, perfect. We can delete the outer band on that one. We don't need it. And <clears throat> Let's see what else. We've got some more down here. Uh, yes, that one, that one. And button, button, button. Hopefully I've selected the buttons. Now I'm gonna go red. Yeah, that's good. Got some over here. We've got that one, that one. That one, that one, and that one. Good. By setting them to red now, it just makes life easier when um, vectorizing the artwork as to what is a button and what isn't. Okay, all right. Let's start in the bottom corner here. And we'll get the cutting tool. Don't need that line. Clean that up. Clean this up, 
So I'm moving out of the way, clear out on the perimeter, put it back. Move it out of the way, clear out the perimeter, put it back. And this is rinse and repeat for everything now. Uh, that can go, that can go. See that little bit there? That's enough to cause the laser to do something silly. <clears throat> each, each vector has to be fully enclosed. So the whole thing here, this whole road, if it's not fully enclosed with no spurious lines, it won't engrave it properly. <clears throat> You've had one of those difficult to shake coughs. I think we're all suffering from them at the moment. Anyway, the next one, there's another little bit there. Clean that up, clean that up. Stick it back, take that. Stick it back. I thought I saw two there. going on. Select that one. Is that part of a group? It's part of a group. Let's have a look. Uh, let's, let's ungroup everything just in case. Right, I think we got rid of all the groups. Yeah, okay, let's see how that goes now. Where were we? Somewhere around here. wasn't it? Yeah. No, I still seem to be selecting something weird there. I wonder if there's an object. Ah, there weren't two. What it is, is there's two rounded bits underneath it. Okay, let's get rid of that. There we go. Put it back, looks good. Have me fill for a minute. Let's do the corners. Clean it up, clean it up. Clean it up. Clean, clean. Depending on the complexity of the drawing and the uh, the amount of detail, this can take quite some time. There we go. Back. This bit's looking good. Right. Let's do the buffers. If you're doing a fiddly diagram with lots of wording around and so on, it um, it just takes even longer. What, what can you do? A weird bend on that, but that's what the customer sent, so that's what the customer gets. Okay, let's do this corner. There, there, that one. Those roads are now joined. Clean that up. Sometimes I miss that and then basically makes a mess and you throw it in the bin and you do it again. That's where the colours will join. Oh no it's not because they're going under an LED on this one, that's right, I remember moving them. And this one is a multicolored panel, so painting it should be fun. To make sure I don't do any cock ups. This is a crossover that wasn't. It's got a button on either side. Took me a while to understand what the customer went meant here, but I think we've got there in the end. It is now signed off.
I've perfected the art of going so fast. I have to do it twice sometimes. It doesn't help, so you just got to go at whatever pace it's that works and get the job done that way. Because if you rush it, it's too late. Once you're on the laser cutter, if you make a mess, you make a mess. Okay, so we didn't like something there. There we go. Part of the fun is working around the uh, bugs in Coral as well. It's not perfect software. And then again, I don't know any that is, but I'm not paying them more. I paid 600 and odd pounds for this. I'm not paying any more. I think it should work. <clears throat> Especially when they want a massive maintenance fee from me and the bugs that I see aren't even fixed. So whatever, is what it is, get used to it. But I've learned to work around its issues. Basically I can draw it so it doesn't need a lot of cleaning up. I don't always get it perfect, but <clears throat> I've minimized the amount of work that needs to be tidied up on the drawing. What is it now? It's late Sunday afternoon. Uh, I really want this drawing prepared so Monday morning I can get it on the laser straight away. And we'll have two panels going out in the morning and hopefully this one can go out on the Tuesday. If I can get it cut and painted, then we'll be uh, in good shape. I've got another one to do. I'm waiting for it to be signed off by the customer. It's um, 900 millimeters across. I made a few tweaks for the customer. I'm just waiting to hear back. I might give them a chase. It's been a, a week since I've heard from them. That'll be fun, getting the laser perfectly balanced either end of 900 mil or a meter. Any issues there, it's certainly that job's gonna bring them out. So that'll be a full clean recalibration, everything ready to go. Crossovers are, uh, not crossovers, diamonds are fun. <clears throat> I sometimes forget to remove the diamond in the middle and that comes back and bites me. So you've got a perfect panel, except for a little white cross in the middle. Bin, bin the job and do it again. In a minute we'll get an idea how long this will take on the laser. There's lots of different tools for doing this in Coral. Um, I think I've tried them all. I just find this the easiest. It gets the job done with the least amount of fuss. I've tried converting objects, joining them, all sorts of things that just, nah, too much effort. I found this the quickest way. Hack and slash. You have to know what you're looking for, otherwise it uh, just it doesn't come out right. Let's clean that up a bit there. In there, do that sharp bend there. There's a sharp bend as well. Imagine doing this the old way with uh, pen and paper, 
or pencil and paper. It'll be quite a feat. Okay, how are we doing? Don't see any errors there. <clears throat> right, what we'll do now, we'll bring on the MDF layer. See where the buttons have now appeared on the MDF layer? No, they're not. There they are. <coughs> Excuse me. And what I'm going to do where the um, LEDs are now, I'm going to put a hole on the MDF so it comes through. That's going to run the macro. There's a little bit of red there. Yes, it's going on the MDF layer, so I'm drawing it on the right layer, otherwise I have to unpick it afterwards. The circle here, the hole is ever so slightly less than what's on the fascia. I don't remember the size now. The macro takes care of that. Make sure I don't miss one. Okay, face her off. And let's toggle it. So I'm looking for the red just to appear and disappear, tell me it's there, a bit easier to see. Okay, happy with that, save that. And what we'll do now, we'll copy the name, and the logo onto the MDF layer. I'll make that blue, so we draw an outline. And then what we'll do, we'll take the rectangle that's the outer perimeter. Here it is. And we'll copy that to the fascia so it perfectly matches. There it goes. So now I've got two of them. Let's bring the MDF layer back. Save it all. And what I'll do now, select everything and Flip it. Then what we'll do, <clears throat> we'll take the fascia layer, turn that off, select the MDF and unflip the names because these will be viewed the normal way around. So if I've got that right, I've got a name backwards for the layout and logo. And I've got a name the right way round as viewed from underneath for the MDF layer. Okay, now what we'll do, save as, we'll just give it a new number. Select that file, save as, and I'll save the selected. MDF. And we'll hide all of that. And we'll rinse and repeat for the fascia. File, save as. Selected only. And we'll save that as a DXF. Call that fascia. Okay, that's the first passing coral draw. Let's find me dongle. Not dongle for the software. I'll bring up the laser software now. So let's stop that screen recording. And now we'll bring up laser cut. 
Okay, let's just file open. And let's bring last sample settings, fascia. So that's just a blank. Okay, let's start screen recording that. And we're recording now this, so file, import. And we want fascia. Now we need to join lines and check data, any errors. Right, there's four errors there. See this in red, doesn't like that. So that will not engrave properly. File, save as. So it doesn't like just this somewhere. There's an error or something weird. Don't know what. <clears throat> so what I'll do is I'll kill that screen recording and come back to this and recapture. So, are we in Coral Draw? Yes, we are. Let's recapture that. There we go, we're back in Coral Draw. So it was this line here it didn't like. Okay, so let's find the error. It's gone the hunt. I bet it's a corner. If there's two underneath each other, it won't, it won't like it. That corner's okay. They're joined. Have to check everything's joined. There's nothing underneath it. That's clean. So it's all well and good until, until it doesn't work. Okay, that's all that. Let's try this corner. Oh, that's clean. That's joined. Nothing underneath that. Always the wrong direction I go in. Okay, let's take it down to here. Ah, I'm seeing a bit of a line there. Ooh, I wonder if that's it. Oh, look at that. There's a line there. That's the only error. Great. Let's just check these corners while I'm here. They were clean now on the last one, so... Happy with that. Happy with that. Just while I'm here, may as well check it out. And we got something happening there. No, nothing underneath. Nothing underneath. It was just that one line that was under another line. That's enough to confuse the laser cutter. So to be a true vector, it has to be cleaned up. Okay. To fit, control A, file, save as. And let's save that again as the DXF and that's Fascia, yes, overwrite. Okay, come back to this. I better stop recording. Now we're recording on laser cut. So let's get rid of the old one. File, import, fascia, join lines, check data. I need this to say zero or have all. Check result two. So the two things it doesn't like that. Ah, it's here, didn't see that. Blimey. Just that one there, how annoying. <clears throat> okay, let's go back to the other drawing and fix that. That one at the bottom. Okay, back in Coral Draw. And it was this line it didn't like. What's wrong with that one? Ah, look at that, another line under there. Delete. It's weird, isn't it? You get some 
and there's another one. Vectors are point to point, so if I delete one, the other end goes. And that was it. If you don't know what you're looking for, it can be quite an effort to find it, but uh, I don't know how many panels I've made now. Uh, 500 maybe? Get fairly quick at it. File, save as. DXF fascia. The MDF ones are always simple because they don't have all these fancy lines. So they always work. Having said that, today you might see my first failure. Fascia. Tools. Join lines. Tools. Check data. Check. No errors. Perfect. Save that. File open MDF. Let's get the MDF settings. File import. Don't look. MDF. Check uh, join lines first, then check data. Tools, check data. No errors. So we can save that one as MDF. And it's now ready, ready for the laser. So if we look at the fascia, I do two passes, so that will take one hour, 15 hours, two, two hours per pass. That's gonna take four hours on the laser to make that. And then um, probably take me an hour or so to paint, uh, but it'll take Take a couple of sessions to paint because that each time I change colour, you let the paint dry. So we'll see how that goes, and I'll see you later on when we're uh, we're doing a bit more with it. A day or two's elapsed, and here's the finished panel. I hope you'll agree. I think it looks rather smart, and I hope the customer's very happy with it. Here's the fascia all painted, and behind is the MDF all laser cut and marked, ready to take the. Um, the LEDs and the buttons. So overall, I think that panel was a nice success. Four colors on it, and I think it looks smart. So I'm gonna go now and put that in the post. So thanks for watching this blog. Hope to see you on the next one.